good? We will get started here shortly. Well, thank you for joining us. We will now begin with an opening statement from head coach Chris Lamonis and then go to questions. Use the raise hand function to indicate you would like to ask a question. When you are called on for your question, please state your name and affiliation first. Coach, please go ahead with a brief opening statement. A uh, long night at the ballpark, you know, rain delay. Um, we don't throw enough strikes. We, I think we walked 11 guys tonight. Um, it's hard to beat anybody when you walk 11 guys. Um, and you got to tip your hat to their starter. I thought he did a really good job. Um, we had, you know, a great eighth, eighth inning, get it back in the game. And we just got to make sure, you know, we got those strikes. We got to compete in the zone. And I think that's where we fell short a little bit tonight. Thank you. Now we'll go to questions from the media. Any questions for Coach? Uh, Joel Col Coleman, our first question. You go ahead. Chris, I know you talked a lot before about how you guys have the ability to handle a punch. I'm going to guess that there isn't any group in the country that you'd rather have to uh, try and bounce back in a winner-take-all game than this group. No, you definitely. I mean, we took a punch there in the top of the ninth, and our kids came out of the rain delay, and they were ready to play. Um, they, they felt like they could win the game then, and I'm sure they're going to go to bed tonight and feel confident about coming out here and playing a great game tomorrow. We've been in this spot a lot. I mean, it's just been a lot, and uh, we have responded. So we're going to have to beat a good team tomorrow, um, but we're looking forward to the challenge. Our next question is from Theo De Rosa. Theo, go ahead. Coach, can you confirm that it will be Will Bednar? Is he ready to go tomorrow? Yeah, I gotta assess everything tonight. Uh, probably a good chance of that, but we got it'll be all hands on deck. Everybody's available. Um, we're in that position now where you, you just have to win. And so um, I would imagine everybody who, besides maybe Houston Harding, would be available tomorrow. Thank you for your time today, Coach. We'll be joined momentarily by Tanner Allen. Please use this time to raise or lower your hand as necessary. Oh, I'm good. Man, that was quick. We are now joined by Tanner Allen. Please use the raise hand function to indicate you would like to ask a question. Our first question is from John Sokoloff. John, go ahead. EA, just kind of thoughts on everything tonight. They beat us. We play tomorrow. That's all I got, man. I mean, what else do you want us to do? Our next question is from Michael Wilson. Michael, go ahead. Tanner, y'all had a couple of elimination type games back in the SEC tournament and now uh, against Notre Dame. Is there anything you can draw on from those experiences or is this just a whole different ball game at this point? 
Uh, of course, you learn from those experiences. It's going to be a big game tomorrow night. Everybody knows it. We know it. But I feel confident in the guy we got going tomorrow. We're going to throw a bed in our tomorrow. So we're just going to play defense behind him and put some runs on the board. John, our next question is from John Sokoloff. John, go ahead. Da, what do you kind of think about uh, the? I don't know if you heard the NC State news, but they're going to forfeit because of uh, COVID nineteen. What do you kind of think about that? And um, and yeah, how in this weird, unprecedented time, how kind of devastating you think that is for for them? Man, I really feel bad for them. I really do. I wish I could do something for them and help them, but all I can do is focus on Texas. So that's what we're going to do. Our next question is from Joel Coleman. Joel, go ahead. T.A., we've asked you these kind of things before, but, uh, you, you know, you guys have taken punches at different points throughout the year. And uh, at this point, I'm going to guess, you know, it kind of doesn't really rattle you guys as many times as y'all kind of had to bounce back. But just talk about going to war, I guess, with these guys again, you know, all on the line tomorrow night. But, uh, you know, I, I'm going to guess that you're pretty confident in, uh, in the mentality you guys will take into the game tomorrow. Of course. You know, it's a big game. We know it's a big game. Um... Like I said, we just got to show up and uh, control what we control, which is preparation for that game. And uh, don't let the moments get too big and uh, play a full nine innings. If they, uh, they hit us in the mouth early, we just got to keep playing. And I feel like if we do that, we'll be fine. Our final question is from Theo De Rosa. Theo, go ahead. TA, what are you guys doing during that delay and how does it affect you mentally, if at all? Yeah, you know, we're just hanging in the locker room, kind of just making small talk, telling stories, talking, you know, a lot of people like to listen to me and Mules hunting stories, fishing stories. So we just kind of, you know, relax. And uh, but obviously we're still in the back of our mind, know what's at stake and know that uh, we got to come out and play the rest of the game. And, uh, you know, I feel I feel good. You know, the ninth inning, we didn't win the ball game, but we put pressure on them. And uh, we don't go down easy. So I like that about our team tonight. We, uh, we came out in the ninth and really gave a great effort to try to get back in that ball game and possibly tie it and uh, if not, even win it. So oh, I was pleased with it. Thank you, Tanner, for your time. Yes, ma'am. Hell State. Thank you all for participating. You can